NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Andrew, it's feeling like summer and we need to take advantage of it while it lasts. Yeah, absolutely, because we don't have a lot of summer left, not only in, in the extended forecast, but we're talking temperatures in the mid 80s this afternoon. As we look ahead to September, we usually only average about two or three of those per year. So uh, summer is starting to shrink away, unfortunately. I was going to say, you know, I love an 80 degree day. Yes, great <laughs> pool weather, so I delivered on that. Uh, yeah, I will be taking advantage of that a little later, but how long yes. is this all going to last? Well, it's really only a one-day thing, so enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the 80s today, whether you're heading to the pool or the lake, really anything outdoors related. The rest of this week, we definitely see a cooling trend, so that really starts to take shape tomorrow. You can see highs on Wednesday only near 70 and then for the rest of the work week into early parts of Labor Day weekend, we stay in the 70s as we move along. So if you like this feel of summer, definitely enjoy this afternoon. Great weather for day five of the Champlain Valley Fair, the mid part of this afternoon towards three o'clock looking stunning. A little bit of humidity temperatures in the lower 80s, a lot of sun, very enjoyable at 7 p.m. this evening. There's actually a Jimmy Buffett tribute happening. So that's pretty cool. Uh, still looking great weather wise at that point. Lots of sun, upper 70s. And as the midway closes towards the 11 o'clock hour, still mild in the lower 70s. There will be more clouds coming in tonight that's out ahead of some rain showers. So here's the view of Storm Tracker. We've got high pressure right near us, uh, keeping us dry with the sunshine and the warmth today. But there is a cold front off to our north and west with an area of low pressure. That'll bring in some showers overnight tonight through about the first half of tomorrow and then after the cold front goes through we've got some drier weather late this week but we also turn cooler as well so a couple things going on here's the view of storm tracker mostly sunny across the region not tracking any showers or storms unlike yesterday we've got 70s and 80s right now at 12 20 a 79 in malone 80 for ellenberg 80 in burlington as well we've got a 71 in Cabot in the Northeast Kingdom, and we've got mostly mid 70s down the road to southern Vermont. You can see we do have a touch of humidity in the air. Dew points generally in the low to mid 60s, but no weather concerns the rest of this afternoon. Just a lot of sunshine. We warm into the 80s for all of us, really. Now tonight we do see an increase in clouds, and there may be a few showers, even possibly some rumbles of thunder into northern New York towards the 10 11 o'clock hour. We'll see some of these showers shifting east into Vermont through the overnight. They're can be some heavier pockets of rain, a few lightning strikes as well. Not expecting any flooding concerns though. Tomorrow morning, lots of clouds, a few showers, and then as we head into the afternoon, we do trend drier. We'll see a gradual brightening trend to the sky. So I think by tomorrow evening, especially the last few hours before sunset will be the brightest part of Wednesday. And then Thursday is just looking st uh, stunning. Nearly full sunshine through the morning and afternoon. There will be a breeze out of the north, so that cools us off through the day on Thursday. So any stickiness that we do have to the air today will be really gone as we look ahead to later tomorrow into Thursday and Friday. Behind that cold front, there's a nice drop in humidity. And our overall pattern this week, we're kind of right on the edge of a ridge of high pressure. So we're not seeing any chill to the air, really. We're pretty seasonable the rest of this week, even into Saturday and Sunday of Labor Day weekend. But on Monday, we see a dip in the jet stream. This is Labor Day itself. There'll be an upper level trough coming in, so it looks like we turn a lot cooler for Labor Day and that lasts into early parts of next week. So enjoy the sun and the warmth this afternoon. We've got some uh, 70s really the rest of the work week and we have some showers penciled in tomorrow, mostly in the morning and then uh, brighter later in the day. Thursday and Friday, a lot of sun. Now we have another cold front coming through on Saturday. Scattered showers likely. Looks like there's a third cold front sometime late on Sunday. So a lot of Sunday looks OK. Some showers late and then a few showers possible for Labor Day. Temperatures in the 60s early next week. Adrian.